Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of Fireside. I absolutely love the lap song. So, so good. It's got that smokiness to it. It's almost like sitting around a campfire, I guess. It's got that smell, that taste. It's really good, guys. Really good. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, cup of coffee, or as I always say, maybe something harder. Depends on your time zone. <laughs> Anyways, today we're going to do a review, a hands-on review. Some of you guys love this stuff. Some of you hate it. I think it's okay. I think it's necessary, I guess, because there's a lot of people that are looking for items and they need to go and try to find people that are going to give them an unbiased review. And today on YouTube doesn't happen very often. There is a lot of biased reviews out there. There's a lot of people that have a, let's say a horse in the race where they're giving you all of these links where they're making money and they're telling you exactly what you wanna hear and that's basically it. Well, the product that I'm gonna show you now, yes, I do have a link for you that will be an Amazon link. So if you go and purchase it, I will make 25 cents. I will tell you that from the beginning, but I don't really care if you buy it or not, okay? That is where we stand with it. The company sent me the product. The company is called Kellisting, and they sent me the product to review with no agenda, so to speak. I can say whatever I wanna say, and I'll tell you if it's good, I'll tell you if it's crap. It doesn't matter to me. So, the mic is this Kellingston. This is what it looks like. It is an MK01P. Now, I'm gonna do a direct comparison between that mic and this mic right here, which is the Samsung C03U. The reason I am is because they're both USB condenser microphones, and they're at a little bit of a different price point. The Samsung, when we purchased it, I think it was about $120, $150. This mic that I'm showing you today is under $100. So keep that in mind. Now, we're gonna just jump into the unboxing of this and I'll tell you all about it. And then I'm gonna get into an actual audio test. I'm gonna do an oration, I'm gonna do a reading, and then you can hear the difference. Now, I'll probably throw this mic into the mix also. It is an Electro Voice RE20. It's a radio mic being used for radio for decades. It has a warm sound to it, almost a tube sound in comparison to a digital sound. I like the way my voice sounds through it, but remember, this is about a thousand dollar setup in comparison to less than a hundred. But I like to use it as a comparison just so you can hear the difference. For 99.9% .9 of you out there, most likely a USB condenser mic will be perfect for what you are doing. So we're gonna get into this unboxing and I'll show you exactly what you get with this mic. Now the packaging is okay. It's nothing better or worse than any other product that we see at this price point. Now the manual as expected is extremely small. It's written in tiny six point or eight point font. Everything that I tell you in this video will be more than what you see in the manual. Now the Kellisting mic is 100% plug and play. I was able to plug it directly into the PC and it was immediately recognized. There was no drivers to download or anything like that. And the microphone is compatible with Windows, Mac, as well as Linux, so that is nice. Now I know not everyone likes getting into the specs. I hate doing specs, but in this case, we need to know the specs of the two mics so we get an idea of what we're hearing, all right? Now as far as the Kellis thing, this Kellis thing MK01P is also built out of aluminum alloy with ABS plastic. It is a USB condenser microphone with RGB lighting. That's a little bit different than the Samsung. Now it also has dual capsules, one on the front and one on the back, just like the Samsung, but the size of those capsules is not listed. Now the pickup pattern is a cardioid polar as well as an omnidirectional or bi-directional, just like the Samsung. The sensitivity is also negative 38 dB and the frequency range is 20 Hertz all the way up to 20 kilohertz. So about 2000 Hertz difference on the upper end. Now it also has a 48 kilohertz sample rating, but it brings in 24 bit instead of 16 bit 
signal. It also has a USB 2.0 input, and once again, it's compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux. Now, the microphone itself is 5.5 inches long and weighs 12.2 ounces. The microphone attached to the base comes in at about 7.5 inches tall. Now, the stand itself has non-slip feet, which is really nice for on smooth surfaces like a table. It's not going to be sliding around. And the microphone attaches to the stand via a standard 3 8 inch screw thread. Now, the stand itself and the mic combined are one pound, exactly one pound total in weight. Now, the microphone can be attached to a microphone arm. Obviously, it's not included. You can buy one separately, but the mic does have a quarter 20 at the bottom of it. Now, the cord that is included is six foot long, so it has a good reach to it, and it is a USB-A to USB-C cable. Aesthetically, the microphone does have a bit of a retro vibe feel to it, but of course it has all of the modern features that you would see in a USB mic of today. On the front of the mic, you have a multi-function button knob combination. This button or knob allows you to control the volume as well as echo. So if you push the button in once, you'll be able to control the volume all the way from zero to 100%. If you push the button in again, you will now be able to control the echo. Another small button on the front of this mic provides noise suppression. So if you push that button in, it will remove all of that room noise. Let's say your AC fan or maybe your computer fans, any of that noise that you would normally hear in your room gets removed. At the bottom of the microphone, you'll find a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. This is perfect for monitoring your audio without having to do it through your computer. Next to the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, you'll find a USB-C power and data port. Now, if we look at the back side of the mic, you'll see a large knob. This knob allows for three positions. Position one is to set up a cardioid pickup pattern. Position two turns the microphone off. And position three provides an omnidirectional or bidirectional pickup pattern. This is by far one of my favorite features with this microphone. Being able to set the microphone for a cardioid pickup in comparison to an omnidirectional pickup just by a turn of the knob is awesome. If you don't know the difference between a cardioid pickup compared to an omnidirectional or bidirectional, basically the cardioid pickup focuses the pickup in a direction. So let's say towards the front of the microphone and lessens that pickup towards the sides. Whereas an omnidirectional or bidirectional pickup picks up everything all the way around the microphone. Now, why would you use this? So if you're doing something like a podcast or if you're trying to record your voice only or if you're doing a Zoom conference or something like that and you don't want the noise of the room or anyone on the sides, you really want that voice focused so it's only on you, a cardioid pickup is what you're looking for. Whereas if you set it to omnidirectional, it picks up everything. So if I'm doing, let's say, a podcast and I have a guest and the guest is right across from me, I can set up the mic dead center of the table, set it to omnidirectional or bidirectional. We will both get picked up equally as loud. That is awesome. And to be able to change it simply by turning a knob is great. Most of the time, we're having to buy microphones specific to our purpose, be it a cardioid or supercardioid or an omnidirectional. Most of the time, we're buying mics specific to our application, whereas this mic allows you to do both. I like that a lot. Now, in the front of the mic, you can see a volume indicator or meter. So as I'm speaking, you will see how much of audio is coming through or how loud the gain is just by looking onto the microphone itself. So it's time for what you've been waiting for. What do these mics sound like side by side? So what I'm going to do is the last time I did a mic review, I think I read something from Dr. Seuss. And some people are like, ah, I don't want a kid's story. So today I'm going to read something from 1776. And that is our United States Declaration of Independence. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm going to read an excerpt of it, maybe paragraph two and on, eh, a little bit of it. All right, so let's get right into it. And I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the Kellesting MK01P 
and the Samsung C03U, and of course, the Electro Voice RE20. So you can hear the difference. Now, the first time you hear these, they're going to be unsweetened, let's say. There will be no EQ or compression, nothing introduced. So you can hear exactly how these mics sound like raw, just like you would use them, let's say for a Zoom call. And then I'm gonna add some sweetening, some EQ and some compression to all three of them so you can hear how they could sound like, all right? So let's get right into this reading. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its power in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. So once again, that is a portion of the Declaration of Independence, July 4th, 1776. That is the raw sound of these mics. Now I'm gonna play them back once again, but this time sweetened up a little bit with a little bit of compression, a little bit of EQ, just so you can get an idea of what these mics could sound like. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its power in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. So guys, what do you think? What do you think? Obviously, the RE20 is going to sound better. It is 10 times the price of these two mics, the Samsung as well as the Kelesting. That's just the way it is. But for USB mics, I think they sound pretty damn good. And this Kellis thing will really stand up to this Samsung, in my personal opinion, especially after doing some EQ. Now, there's a couple of things that I would say that I don't like or suggestions that I would like to make when it comes to this Kellis thing mic. Now, number one. I like the RGB that it is a little bit muted. It's not so bright. You can see it, but kind of barely, and it changes color slowly throughout the spectrum, let's say, which is okay. Now, if you don't like RGB at all, this mic might be out altogether. For me, I would like to see a button that allows you to turn the RGB on and off somewhere on the microphone. That would be good for me. But once again, the light is subtle, so it's not too bright. It's not bad. I personally like RGB, as you can see. Now, the next thing that I would like to see them do is on the back where we have this setting that allows you to change from a cardioid pickup to off to an omnidirectional pickup. I think that's great and all, but I think this off area right here should not really be there. I think the knob setting for cardioid pickup or omnidirectional pickup is great, but an on-off button or a cough button, a mute button, let's say on the front of the mic, I think would be great. So this off, ah, maybe not so much, but having the ability to have omnidirectional or cardioid on this mic, either picking up just through the front capsule or picking up your sound from the front and the back just with a flip of the switch, I think is fantastic. That is really great. Like I said, if you do any type of podcasting and you're only capturing yourself, then you put it on cardioid. But if you're doing, let's say, a podcast and you're trying to capture yourself, as well as, let's say, a guest right across from you, you can have this mic in the center of the table and capture both of you equally. That is awesome. That is one of the best features, I think, of this mic. Now, the other thing that I'd like to see is on the front side, we have this button, which is the noise suppression button. 
I would like to see it have a light in it. So let's say if it was red, it's off. If it's green, it's on or whatnot. Just by pushing it and toggling it in and out, it's kind of like, okay, is it in? Is it out? I don't know. That would be my suggestion. Now, as far as the mic itself, I think that it's made pretty well. It has, like I said, a pound weight to it altogether with this base as well as the microphone itself. So it doesn't feel like a cheapy mic. And the audio that's coming out of it, I think is really quite good. This microphone comes in at about $79, which is cheap. Any microphone under $100 has a certain, let's say, position in my spectrum of mics because I've used extremely expensive mics and I've used cheap mics and usually the cheaper mics don't sound that great. This mic conversely sounds quite good in comparison to a lot of the cheaper mics that I've seen. Once again, $79, but right now I found on Amazon they have it for $69. It's like a 10% discount. I found a link, and now in the description below this video, I'm gonna put that link. So if you use that, you're gonna get 10% off as of the recording of this video. That's not me giving you the 10% off. This company didn't give me like a link to give you to get 10% off. It's just I found it, and I'm sharing it with you guys. So once again, down in the description below, what I'll do is I'll give you the link to this microphone so you can go and get 10% off or so that you can go purchase it over on Amazon. I'll also give you a link to a mic arm. I personally, like you would see here on the RE20, I like mic arms to be able to get the mics off the table. All right, they're okay on stands like this, but they're just in the way. I like stuff hanging out of the way that I can just throw it and it's gone out of the scene if I want it to, or if I want it in the scene, I can leave it here, whatever I wanna do. So I would say grab a mic arm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link for a mic arm that I would recommend and then also a lower cost mic arm that's like under 20 bucks that will do the job. So I wanna hear from you. What do you think about this Kellis thing MK01P? Do you like it? Do you think it's as good as the Samsung? Obviously, I don't think it's as good as the RE20, but do you think that it's good enough? Is it something that you would purchase? Once again, for under $100, for $69. It is a condenser, a USB condenser microphone, but it gives you the pickup pattern of two mics, which I think is awesome. Once again, cardioid as well as omnidirectional. So in the comment area below this video, put your thoughts. I want to hear from you. What do you think? So I hope you've enjoyed this video, maybe even a little bit. If you have, please consider throwing it a thumbs up. That would be really helpful. Share it with your friends, colleagues, anyone that might be interested in purchasing a new mic. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel as of yet, please consider doing so and click this little bell icon over here so when I go live or when a new video comes out, you will be notified of it immediately. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the years, and hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for dinner of the vlog. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.